Hello everyone, this is the Underdog aka the German Viking and today I wanted to congratulate every one of uh, the population or citizens of Norway because it's 17th of May and it's our Constitution Day or basically our Independence Day if you compare it to the, the US and so I want to congratulate all the Norwegians. So let's dive into the article President Trump uh, President Donald Trump is asking for examples of social media censorship. So this is from one angry gamer. Uh, given all the censorship happening across uh, social media recently, President Trump and the White House have decided to crowdsource example of Americans being censored on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or other services. I applaud this because uh, I think Congress has done a lousy job uh, at uh, attacking and being critical of uh, Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg. So I think uh, uh, with his effort of uh, tr uh, basically forcing uh, colleges to adhere to the First Amendment as well, I think he props to him. I mean, Europe right now is a cesspool with uh, with our article th 13 and uh, the censorship uh, in regards to uh, w what is happening in Germany, Sweden and Britain uh, I just hope uh, we can uh, learn from uh, the US and actually do something about this so after President Trump said that they were uh, monitoring the censorship taking place on social media, the White House opened up a web portal where you, su where you submit your information explaining what sort of censorship has befallen you on social media. You'll need to fi f fill out uh, the, your first and last name, your zip code, what platform the censorship took place and link your, uh, to your social account or where your account used to be. A link to the offending post and a notification from the social media service. So basically you have to prove it as well. You can just uh, send it in and they'll believe you just like that. So props to them. Uh, no, uh, the idea is to gather as uh, as much uh, data as possible about co accounts that have been censored for innocuous posts and messages or political themed uh, posts that social media sites are, have labeled as hate speech, even though the, the speech is illegal. If you don't have the links to, to the offending post or your account is no longer active, if you manage to t save screenshots of your account or uh, content being censored, you can also upload images as well to prove you've been censored. And uh, as the image shows, uh, this includes Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and other social media platforms. If you choose to use other, just type in the name of the so social media service. Yeah, Trumble would probably be one of these. Hopefully, some of the, the big names from social media will make use of the service, such as Laura Luma, The Proud Boys, Monkey Jones, Alec Jones, um, uh, others that have been banned from the services. Google isn't exempt from this either. They have had a blacklist of problematic websites that hinder search results in sh shadow banned content from these websites and showing up in the G News or the general search index. Which is, again, they're doing the same as the, all of the other sites are doing and uh, editorializing their content. And this is why they're getting woke, going broke. And uh, Congress should uh, basically ho hold them liable for what is posted on uh, their website because they are heavily er editorializing it so that they shouldn't be exempt for what, what is posted on their services um, so uh, there, uh, let's continue there was also a report on the way impressions are filtered through Google that revealed a clear ideological bias uh, in the way or uh, that the the algorithm uh, was uh, structured as reported by live news also hopefully those who have been deleted platform from credit processes also make a case uh, it all ties in uh, together for instance the proud boys uh, were banned from Twitter and the leader had his chase bank account X which is just amazing um, so they're, they're basically blacklisting and, and making it impossible for people to use PayPal I, I mean I've covered this before when uh, uh, money uh, uh, transaction services are basically banning people f from using their own money uh, and they, they shouldn't be allowed to do that when uh, it's something like uh, essential like uh, uh, money transactions We'll see uh, what Trump does with all the information and whether or not he makes the use of data to actually curb the increase, uh, increasing censorship that's taking over the public space if he uses it to work against common interests of the people in the age of uh, the clown. Anything is possible. 
update political data pan and open letter to the white House expressing their concern over privacy data and personal information required to fill out the form noting that the inform is in mason without guarantees so that's something to keep in mind yeah i mean that's a fair criticism uh anyways i i just hope they they do something about the the rampant censorship but that is basically banning anyone right of stalin and i just hate such i've hopped on this so much where the uh, draconian and authoritarian puritanical ways of these uh, platforms are just uh, removing the discourse of what people want to talk about and uh, giving into outrage culture and censorship and, and ju just discourse they agree with but everything else is uh, is haram it, it shouldn't be on their platform uh, that's uh, and then they claim to be uh, a objective and, and uh, don't have any standards but we see this clearly I mean they they banned Sargon and and uh, Tommy Robinson basically uh, interfering in uh, foreign elections that should not uh, be something that they would be allowed to and not be held to a standard where they can be sued for uh, defamation or anything like that that is posted when they clearly have a, a biased uh, form of uh, censoring the and and editor uh, editing their own content on the platform this is why the amount of tweets i, I saw this on clown Fisher's video where the uh, amount of volume of uh, tweets have gone down i believe uh, 40 percent the last five years uh, the user engagement is lower basically 50 percent of of the content uh, that is uh, uh, posted uh, on Twitter is basically just retweets. Ten percent comes from these uh, blue check marks because uh, it, I mean everyone else is basically just getting banned uh, if they don't agree with them. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.